Okay, this is gonna be an interesting one. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who have not heard the news, yesterday, after a long period of time, finally, probably the biggest Roblox YouTuber in the world, Flamingo, got a star code. And I'm gonna be talking about that today and something that you guys might actually not know regarding the matter. So this is definitely going to be interesting, like I already said. But uh, yeah, if you guys want a little bit more of background, Flamingo has, I mean, obviously, he has an amazing audience, a huge fan base, but the issue was that Roblox kind of thought he was a little bit controversial with the content he was making. I don't know if you guys remember his channel, Albert Stuff, but he was kind of swearing a little bit more on that channel, and I think that is kind of the reason that they never gave him a star code, because obviously, for younger kids, a lot of people who play Roblox are younger, so they kind of never gave him a star code. I think the reason is because he was a little more mature than other Roblox YouTubers, if that makes sense. But finally, yesterday, he got a star code and Roblox tweeted out and said, why not with a flamingo emoji? Albert Stuff, obviously that's his old channel. He just still has the Twitter app. He replies with a smiley face. Use star code flamingo to support me. And then he writes, nothing will change with my content, by the way. Vid it talking about it all in a couple days. So what that obviously means is people were a little concerned that he would make the content a little less edgy, a little more for kids because of the fact that he got a star code but what it seems like is that roblox and flamingo were able to finally work it out and give him a star code now okay you're probably wondering what was the thing i want to talk about what was the thing i was mentioning earlier ladies and gentlemen now we are going to be talking about my star code <laughs> This is mainly a joke. I'm not upset at all. You guys don't know what I'm getting at. I don't have a star code. Maybe if you didn't clickbait. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason I don't have a star code isn't because I clickbait. I don't clickbait. Okay, in all seriousness, I know people think I clickbait, but I honestly think my content's better now. So if you guys don't like me, you don't have to watch me. Anyways, I know the exact reason I don't have a star code. And this all goes back to the year, I think either 2017 or 2018, when star codes first came out on Roblox. Okay, so basically my content in 2018 was a little bit different. Obviously, I was making a lot of videos about Roblox hackers, about online daters, a bunch of very very, very mature stuff because obviously, obviously exposing online daters isn't really anything that super, super young people should be seeing. So I honestly regret making those videos. And then the hacker videos, I was making a lot of videos on Roblox hackers and whether or not those hackers actually turned out to be real hackers, it doesn't matter. The issue itself was that it was scary and then the online dater stuff was a little mature. So essentially my content was a little too mature for Roblox and the star code, but it gets a little more interesting. I think what happened when I first applied for a Roblox star code, I never got one. And I was super confused because obviously I was a pretty big Roblox YouTuber back in the day. I was getting a ton of views. Unfortunately, I don't really post that much anymore, but hey, if I get a star code, I'll post every single day. Anyways, I ended up reaching out to Roblox and I was like, hey, Roblox, you know, I've been a content creator on Roblox since 2008. I mean, 2013 technically, but I've been playing the game since 2008. I would really, really appreciate a star code. And long story short, the super, super nice guy working at Roblox and the star code, Rodrigo, he's one of my friends. Unfortunately, he replied, this is again, back in 2018 or so. And guys, again, I'm not mad. It's fine. I'm just telling a story. <laughs> he replied and he's like, hey, the hacker's stuff, the Roblox exposing online data stuff. We're not really fans of it. So if you want a star code, you're going to have to delete. I think he said you're going to have to delete all those videos, which I mean, I understand. But the issue back then was that it was my most popular two series on the channel and I just didn't want to delete them. So here is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone from Roblox is watching this, I've been playing Roblox for like 13 years at this point. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> and this might be a little controversial, but I really think I deserve a star code. <laughs> oh, I know how this one's gonna end. Oh, there's gonna be some mad people in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, if anybody at Roblox ends up seeing this, please send me a message and I will do anything you guys want for me to get a star code. 
it would just be so sick to be in the roblox video star creator program whatever it's called not for the money or anything i don't really care i play fortnite but just being part of the community itself would be amazing seeing albert being able to do it i think i could do it as well so i would be willing to delete all those old videos and yeah ladies and gentlemen all i want to say to wrap up this video if i end up getting a roblox star code i will be making daily roblox videos again do you understand what that means i make like five videos a year right now so ladies and gentlemen let me know what your thoughts are thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one